Howdy gamers, it's your boy Egg Platinum, and we also have Young Left. Howdy, what's poppin' Jimbo? Um, we are the only two here, that's what's poppin'. Yep, no, uh, sure? no guests. There's not anybody else around. No, uh, no Tanner. No miles, no women. Actually, we're <laughs> the uh, last episode... It was titled Tanner is a Stereotypical Dad. This episode is going to be t called Stereotypical Dad Gets Corona. Corona. Dude, actually, I got a funny story. So speaking of, like, no women around, I showed Austin these messages, but I had recently put in my Tinder bio, uh, like, podcast <laughs> I didn't say the title of the podcast or anything, <laughs> but uh, all I said was podcast host. And at one point, I had this chick like message me about it. I, if she still listens, you know, shout out to you. But if you don't, understandable, you know, completely. Like... Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she listened to the first ten seconds and then just left. <laughs> I feel so bad if anyone ever goes back to try to listen to, like, the first episode, because, boy, is that a fucking shit show. <laughs> we didn't spin it up to, like, episode You got Ian? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, another thing about audio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You would send BRB in the squad chat in the middle of the podcast and then just walk away. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, but related to the audio, I got a new microphone, so I'm, it's going to be a couple of episodes before I figure out the right volume levels for it. So I apologize for that. But it sounds nicer. Don't remember asking. Also, it does <laughs> not sound that much different, I'll be honest. Spent four Over Discord. Dollars. Over Discord, it won't really sound any different, but on recordings, it. it should sound much better. Look, I'm gonna be honest. Just didn't ask. <laughs> Imagine spending four hundred dollars on a mic and then still having mm -hmm. it sound like shit. Doesn't sound like shit though. I'm gonna and Discord. It. The quality is not as nice as you said it would have been. You're That's just cap, Discord. Man. That's just VoIP in general, voice over IP. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's how it's always been, though. Well, Plus, it could also you? just be something fucky with Discord for me. Mm hmm. Because, yeah. Sure. Keep blaming. Them. Anyway. Really anyway, speaking. Microsoft another thing. No, no, another no, no, thing no, no. About... about that. Microsoft buying Discord. No, hold on. Before, before we do that. Group, no, Before we get into that, hold on. Another thing. Comments. No, not comments. It was something to do with the first episode. It was one year ago. We've hit our one year anniversary. And too bad there's no one here. It's yep. Just <laughs> oh, how, how times have changed. <laughs> anyway, Microsoft buying Discord. Yeah. Whatever. I hope that they switch the servers that they're on, and hopefully that fixes the issues that I'm having. Sure. Uh, also, do you see the huge uh, Reddit uh, <clears throat> controversy? Where, no. Uh, some, like, dudes that, like, hide, like, moderators or shit on Reddit go to this fucking, like, camp where they all wear, like, diapers and shit. And, oh fuck yeah. yeah! You know who? What kind of man are you if you can't just go to some camp and and just chill in some diapers? You know? Nope. No, I don't think I will. Really? Piss. <laughs> I'm not trying to fucking just sit in my own piss. Uh, I'm not a child. <laughs> I can piss outside. I don't Whoa! Know. Hold, hold up! Hold up! They didn't they didn't say we had to piss in the diapers. Just wearing them. I mean, Austin, you know these motherfuckers are doing that shit, though, right? That's their whole, like, thing. Are you... That's fucked. Nah. Have you never looked into this shit? No, I, this, I haven't heard about it's it. Like, 
No, there's like a whole like subculture of like people that act like b- children or like babies in particular and stuff. They'll get like giant uh-huh. cribs and shit. Yeah, it's wild, dude. I, oh. I did research on it like a couple of years ago, but it was very interesting to learn about. Like, is it like a, a fetish? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's that's a that's yeah. a weird weird fetish. Hey, whoa! No kink shaving around here, buddy. <laughs> I I'm just saying, I wouldn't do it. I would. No, I wouldn't do it. No, no, I I didn't say that I would do it. Imagine you're gonna change your significant other's fucking diaper, like. No, I don't do think I will. The same age. <laughs> no. <laughs> What you, no. Put, that's... <laughs> I so <laughs> imagine having that in your Tinder bio. Will it must be willing to change my diaper? You must be willing to feed me their mommy milkers. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, mommy milkers. Yeah. You know, you know something else. Something no. else. Pornhub. Why the fuck is all the good shit gone? Hmm? Well, it did. It's because there was a lot of really <laughs> fucked up shit on there as well. Yeah. Yeah. But. So the, but. There's like. I, I mm, will agree that the unlisted video or the 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 people that were not unverified like were a lot ver- better. But there's a lot of small verified channels you can find if you do the research long enough, which. You know, I spend hours on there, so I just fucking go in <laughs> through. So I found the right stuff. It just you gotta look, you gotta look <laughs> real deep. Takes takes much more time, unfortunately. Yeah, it does, and it sucks. But I think it's better, so that they could take off all the really fucked up. Yeah, all the shit them. that definitely should not be on there. <laughs> True. Actually, last night, funny enough, when I was on Pornhub, motherfucker, in my recommended was someone's like Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> it was like, I've been seeing some shit on a fucking verified channel. I'm like, what? The? I clicked on it, I started watching it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I've, I've been so seeing right. more and more Let's Plays on there for some reason. <laughs> like, I think I've seen a, a couple of them in the last few weeks. It's pretty funny. I remember watching uh, JoJo's on Pornhub at one point. I watched like part three or some shit on there. And it was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> of all the places to watch it, you watch it on Pornhub. That's what I'm saying, man. Pornhub was a great website. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now it's downhill. Now, uh, now I guess I gotta. I'm still gonna use it because all the other sites are just as sketchy. Yep, fucking worse. And the UIs are terrible. Yeah, true. Pornhub was the only site with good UI. Dude, speaking of shit UI, can anime sites fix how their shits work? Yes. Oh, dog shit. oh my god. I, <laughs> I, been... I logged in. Okay, so Zach bought a Funimation account or paid you know paid for a, a subscription to Funimation uh and gave me the login and I went to start watch to continue watching One Piece and it's just such dog shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, is that yeah. some nice raise energy you got there like you want me to be honest or (laughs) no obviously (laughs) no it's not but speaking of raise energy it's something you know pretty delicious unfortunately i'm out of it i need to i actually have some more ordered coming in here soon which i'm hyped about i ordered a couple cases uh picked up uh oh, some galaxy burst i think is not is mm, that's a good one that's a good one and then uh the apollo one 
I like both of those. I the Everybody. Apollo is probably my favorite. Yeah, but if you guys want to check out Raise Energy, you guys should use code Small Member at checkout. That's S M A L L M E M B E R at checkout for fifteen percent off at. <clears throat> for any of the Ray's Energy products, including, you know, they have weightlifting shit. You know, you want to get fucking small, mm-hmm, you want to mm-hmm. get pumped up, you know, maybe check it out. You have a trouble with sleeping, they got a solution for that as well. Oh my yeah. gosh, the sleep mix Definitely is so nice. Checking out. Yeah, and make sure to use small member at checkout for 15% off. Pause. 15, one, five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, dope. yeah, suck anyone's cock that orders. I'm just <laughs> okay, yeah, guys. Uh, if you guys want to have any audio clips sent in the Discord for you know use uses as you please, just comment with the timestamp, and I'll I'll go through and clip it and put it in the Discord. Uh, so we don't really have too much for uh for topics here um so i guess we got do you have any any recent karen stories or just shitty customers yeah no pretty much every job i've worked recently i've been in the back just vibing i don't really have to deal with anyone though I pro- if, if, give me some time. I could probably can think of one that happened to me in the past or some shit. All right. Um. So I had a uh, I had a guy once call and at at my radio shack we're also an AT and T re- retailer. Um. So we can set up new accounts and upgrade lines for new phones. Uh. Though most of what we do is direct fulfillment. So we ship the phone to the person's house. So this guy calls us up and he he says you know, he needs us to do something along the lines of like unlocking the phone, like carrier unlocking so it can be used with a different carrier. And being a reseller, we're not able to do that. Like even if they come in person, we, we don't have the capability to. It has to be corporate AT&T that does it. So I tell him that. I'm like, hey, we, you know, we can't do that here at this store we're just an AT&T reseller he's like oh I know you can do it I I looked you up and, and it, I looked up AT&T store and you came up and I was like yes we're an AT&T reseller so we we can set up new accounts and upgrade lines but we can't unlock phones you have to call uh, corporate AT&T for that so he goes Oh, you, I, that's what I looked up. I looked up corporate AT&T and you came up as the first, as the closest thing, store. I'm like, we can't do that. <laughs> and then he, he just got super pissed at me. He's like, oh, I know you can do it. I need, I need to talk to a manager. And I was like, yeah, how's it going? I'm right here. <laughs> He's like, you're a manager. I'm like, yeah. Cause the only, the only person that's above me is the owner of the store. So, you know, Technically, I'm a manager, as well as all of my coworkers are also technically managers. <laughs> so he's like, "Okay, I need to know your store number." I'm like, "We don't have one." Is, he's like, "There's, no, there's you... no other radio shacks around, <laughs> man. What do you fucking want?" <laughs> he's like, "I need your store number. I know you have a store number. Every single AT&T store has a store number." I'm like. Nope, we are a reseller. Uh, we're not even we're not an AT&T store. <laughs> even even You're then, the like on top front. of it, on top of it being not a a full corporate uh, AT&T store, we're not even a full retail uh, AT&T store. We're not an exclusive store, so we don't really carry phones in stock, and we're even more limited to what we can do. <laughs> so so then he was like oh and i need to i need to talk to the owner i'm like he's not here he's like where the fuck is he i'm like i don't have a clue <laughs> he's he's not working I don't know. that's I'm for not sure <laughs> i don't babysit him and he's like oh you don't babysit him i need to talk yeah. 
I need to talk to someone that's above you. I'm like, there's nobody above me as well as there's nobody else here. He's like, so if I come in right now, you'll be the only one there. I'm like, yep. If you come in right now, yeah. I'll be the only one there. And, and, uh, and then he was like, oh, you're talking big smack or no, he was like, I said, yeah, I'm the only one here. If you want to come in, I can give you the address if you need it. And he's like, oh, you talking big. I'm going to come in there. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> and then he, uh, then he got and pissed what? and hung up. And then I can't reset your fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, you know, he hung up and I turned to Luke and I was like, okay, Luke, if he comes in, just say um, that you came in at eleven <laughs> because he it was like it was like ten fifty three or something. I was like, just say you came in at eleven. So when he called, I was the only one there. I feel like you've told this story before. I still had it on the list. Or I didn't talk about it. I feel like I might have Maybe told not. you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's on the podcast, but maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. People who've actually listened to all of the episodes and have a catalog memory, let us know down in the comments below. <laughs> you think of I, any? Literally, the well, so the only reason I say that is because, so didn't that person end up coming in or whatever? No. Right? No? No, they didn't. Okay, <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, I, I, I'm going to be honest. Look, my my whole like experience with like people and shit is either I'm just too high to care, or I I just don't you know I, it's just some dumb shit that I'm just like you know whatever fuck you yeah mm -hmm. fuck you I, I I don't let it too much bother me like I I you know something I've noticed with people is people let that. People had too much shit bother them. You know, uh, you know it's mm -hmm. not such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of my one of my favorite things to do is kick people out of the store. <laughs> just be like, uh, because the, the, because they don't wear a mask, I can just be like, get out. <laughs> yeah. It do be pretty pog. I'll be honest, mm -hmm. dude. Shit's wild, man. Yeah. Can you imagine if we had just locked down like other countries? We've yeah, I, I still stand by my what I say we should have done when it all first started. Uh, but obviously we can't. We can't change the past. Yeah. So all we can do is, uh, you know you know move moving forward what handle things mm -hmm. though the uh actually uh, i feel like that's something we don't really want to talk about <laughs> what happened with the masks recently i uh, yeah i I, just, I don't really care their shit's all fuck fuck everyone it's just mm -hmm. like I've already hated people from like at a young age this just makes me like confirm my shit that People are just fucking dumb. Mm hmm. I, people, I've, I've, I've said people are, are dumb for years now. Like, ever since I started working at Walmart, I was like, oh my god. People are just idiots. I'm sorry, you've worked at Walmart. <laughs> All the degenerates come out there. Like, they just come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they do. It's it's wild. One of the things that that I <laughs> I would count and like, you know, would be bored sometimes, and we just sit stand there and and watch people, and uh, yeah. and you know, someone would ride through on a cart that's just too fucking lazy to walk around, and it was like, oh, look at that idiot. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny i i've i've had some pretty nice conversations with uh with my coworkers at walmart like like i had uh i had one one time i we got done with work at like 
10 or 11. I think it might have been 11. But then we just went out and we stood by our, our cars and just talked to each other for like hours because we were like the we were like the same age and we were, I don't remember what we were talking about but just like until like I think it was like one or two in the morning until we before we went home mm -hmm. we I, I, we used to do that at Kalahari so like we'd get done at like 12 o'clock or some shit uh, just depending on whether it was winter or summer, we'd either start our cars, but we'd usually just be out there talking for a couple hours about, like, how the day was and shit. Just, like, these dumb customers we saw and shit. Yeah. We'd just go and talk. And it was always a really fucking good... There would be, like, six of us, though. We'd just be fucking mobbing out in the fucking park. <laughs> yeah. Just standing <laughs> in the back, nobody around. Someone comes in in the back to, uh to turn around and they just see a circle it looks like some sort of cult or something that's what people would say yeah we'd have a lot of, <laughs> there was a lot of times that like guests or some shit would just be driving by and just see us just all fucking standing there vibing. <laughs> oh, i miss oh. we're always so much fun yeah i always went home and just got super high afterward yeah yep and then grinded overwatch Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, uh, oh, I looked over to my side and I just remembered I did my, uh, my Pokemon card opening, big 35 card, 35 pack opening. And I got a lot of nice cards, but I got one that was like full art trainer, which was like our all super rare crazy rare that's nessa right that one's uh skyla but uh Gross. nessa is also a, a a water chick man this is the better one mm -hmm. be honest <laughs> like i hate pokemon cards so if you want to get into a real card game you yeah now that's where it's at. Or <laughs> the Digimon card game. It's also pretty fun. They're very, oh, yeah. very hard to come on. Uh, Digimon packs. On Tuesday, you're you're going to go down and get one, right? No, I'm going down Monday. To go Monday? Get one. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Mm -hmm. um yeah i'm going down on monday to go get some which i'm excited because they'll be my first couple of packs from that card game mm -hmm. I, I, I think i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna start again buying the cards but i'm gonna buy significantly less this time because it took it took like an hour to open up all those packs <laughs> took you an hour to open up 35 packs. I went through two boxes in under 45 minutes. I must have oh, just... fuck did it take you that long? Are you like fucking... I gotta read each fucking card. No, look for the fucking shiny. <laughs> Come on. That's it. That's all that matters. The other cards don't fucking matter. The shinies are what matter. Yeah, it's that's kind of that's exactly what it was. <laughs> See, that's where you messed up. That's where he fucked up, man. You gotta fucking speed through that bitch. Speed around that. <laughs> All right, there's my shiny. All right, cool. And next, <laughs> LD. Um. Yeah. Now, now I have to. Uh, now I want to build a build a deck. Battle with. Yeah, man. Should. Pokemon's well, yeah. a cool one. I just don't play it too often, though. I will be getting into it. Probably soon. Uh, for some yeah. events, it will be cool. Yeah, I've been playing the uh, the online game, and like I finally beat all of like the the AI ones. So I'm gonna I I started doing online matches, and either it's an even match or I just get completely stomped because people just put out V Max cards all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm over here with this like 60 HP Pokemon 
<laughs> it does 10 damage a hit and then they throw out this this tag team v max card that has 370 hp and it's attack its lowest damage attack does 170 or some shit like that i'm like well you need to spend more money <laughs> those cards baby that's how you get the fucking value uh, yeah that's the thing that sucks about card games but the thing with like physical ones is at least you can buy the singles of cards you can just buy the cards that you fucking want there's a i think there's a trading system on the online card game where you can like create orders for trading and stuff interesting that's cool yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to look into it. I, I will actually at some point I'll stream it. So I think that'd be interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. So on uh, just to just to keep the ball rolling, another Karen story. I or not really too much of a Karen story, but it, just a guy that was really fucking annoying. Um. So being a, a local, small, locally owned family business we get a bunch of like drug addicts that will come into the store and try to get us to buy their their items and uh you know it's, it's really easy no for us because we legally can't if they come into the store and ask us if we can uh if we can buy stuff you have to have a buyer's license uh however if we were to like say if someone had something posted on the facebook marketplace and we message them and had them come into the store and and sell it. Then we can then we can buy it without the buyer's license. It's really weird. Yeah, but this yeah, guy exactly. comes in, and uh, you know, first he asked how much it would cost to fix like an iPhone six or something like that. And I was like, oh yeah, it's like ninety bucks to replace the screen. And he's, and, uh, and then he was like, mm, I can't really afford that. How much? How much will you buy it for me for? And I was like, I can't buy it. And I was like, he was like, well, what about a trade in for one of these other phones? How much can you give me for a trade in? I'm like, can't can't do that either. You have to have a buyer's license to either one of those. And I explained the whole buyer's license thing to him, and, and then he was like, what about if I go out on out, out front the front door and I post it up for sale on Facebook and then you message me right now and and I'm like, no, I I you can't can't do that <laughs> and then and then like he walked halfway out like up the because we have a very long store he got like halfway up and he turned around he's like you sure you don't want to buy it i'm like i can't buy it <laughs> yep i'm sure i am sure <laughs> baby yeah gosh <laughs> I I, so annoying when people are just like are you sure mm-hmm <laughs> Yeah. Just like, yes. I am. And oh, one of the most annoying types of people are the the, the know it all people. Like, True. I had this this other guy come in, and he was looking for like a a plug in for a receiver or something, like something that he could plug into the back of a receiver for a speaker. Mm-hmm. So he um he he. He asked me, he's like, oh, would this work? And I was like, no. And he's like, are you sure it wouldn't work? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't work. And he's like, well, you have receivers up front. What about, would it work with any of those? I'm like, no, it wouldn't. And he's like, well, how about we bring it up front and we plug it in and, you know, we, we see. Because I'm pretty sure this would work. It's not. Shut I'm like, it's, I'm like it's not, but I'll humor you. And I'll, I brought it up front and I plugged it in and he's like what about if we got this adapter and then this adapter and then this adapter and he just went through like four different ways of trying to hook it up and none of them worked and yeah. and then and then he just said that it must be like a stupid piece of hardware or something like that i'm like it's not the unit you just can't do that <laughs> just not how it works man i, I don't know what you want me to tell you chief but that's not it <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna work for you, Chief. What do you know? Yeah, sorry. You're just some kid. You're some fucking idiot. Oh, uh, that's something else that's fucking annoying is when when these fucking boomers come in and they're like, "Oh, you don't know anything. You're just a fucking kid." 
I'm like, I know more about this new technology than you do, you fucking boomer. <laughs> yeah, man, you tried telling me about this shit. Come on, buddy, you want to do my job? Fucking, I... fucking shit. <laughs> oh, and the amount of people that I get that come in that... Uh, used to work for IBM and were programmers that know absolutely nothing about how computers work is just tremendous. Oh, yeah, working for IBM, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, that's why you're here, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they all were like, oh, I did programming for IBM back in like the 80s. I'm like, oh, bro, what do you mean? No, you weren't. <laughs> One of my favorite things in like anime, this is pretty much unrelated. Well, not unrelated, completely unrelated, but one of my favorite things with anime is when they want to like rip off like a licensing or something, but they'll only change like one letter in like the copyrighted thing. So like, in Devil is a Part Timer, they have Wick Donalds and Kentucky uh, Grill. Yeah, it's like Kentucky Grilled Chicken or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, and that, but then in Steins Gate, they have fucking DK Pepper, and then also IPM, which. <laughs> Uh, I, I and I I think that shit's like the funniest fucking thing ever <laughs> when they're talking about like an actual fucking thing, but they change up one letter to fucking get around it. No, I oh that was another thing about into the Spider Verse that I thought was kind of funny is that in one universe it was like actual brand names like Coca Cola, and then like in the other dimension it was like I, I don't remember what it was, but it was some different brand instead of coca-cola with like the same branding and shit <laughs> yeah yeah that shit's <laughs> funny i really like that I, uh, the attention to detail is great mm -hmm. uh okay. mm -hmm. you know a movie i can't wait to watch mm. big monkey fight got giant lizard i've watched it like three times now <laughs> oh bro what do you think I was gonna fucking wait for you guys? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. I just, uh, yeah. I can't. <laughs> I know. Must suck, bitch. <laughs> uh, at some point, I I'll watch the other. I'm really yeah, gonna watch but... the Mortal Kombat movie at the end of this month, too. Yeah. It'll be hype. Mm hmm. It kind of sucks that the movie theaters are only open on the weekends. Because, like, going on, like, a Tuesday or Thursdays were, like, the best times to go because there's, like, nobody in the theaters. It was great. True. There was nothing beating a fucking Tuesday movie at, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Plus, then you get to get out of the theater, and you can. There's still there's still plenty of time to do shit. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Yeah, I like that shit. I yeah, I miss theaters. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I uh I I suspended the uh the AMC A list pass. Understandable. Because <laughs> twenty bucks a month for literally nothing that I can use. Because... Nope. <laughs> Dude. Uh, hey, yeah, it's fucking wild. What was the last remember... movie you saw in theater? Oh yeah, Monster um, Hunter World. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. What a movie. That movie fucking was interesting. That mm -hmm. and Tenet we saw, right? Yeah. What was that? We saw Tenet as well, right? Yep, we yeah. saw Tenet and uh, and Sonic as well. Uh, yeah, we saw three movies at this entire last year in theaters. Yep. I went from... Uh, so on, on AMC, it tells you how much money you saved in a year. 
Um, if you looked at mine from last year, it was like four hundred dollars or something like that. And uh, this year, it's uh... oh, hold on, let me see if I can see. Um, it literally just doesn't even tell me because I don't think it did anything. Yeah. Actually, yeah. The... <laughs> yeah the last one actually i probably shouldn't show that um oh, yeah. the last movie that we saw was january 2nd of 2021 monster hunter world or monster hunter <laughs> oh yeah yeah dude the nice thing with that with that pass though was getting to see three movies a week for free mm -hmm. that was nice mm -hmm. going through a, like a tuesday or hell whatever. yeah Plus, then also it would tell you about upcoming movies and like which ones to to keep an eye on. Yeah, true. It's another thing like Wonder Woman. It it released last year on in theaters, and I just didn't even notice. I didn't even I didn't even know it released in theaters until it was out of theaters. Yeah. Yeah. It, but now I have it on Voodoo. Uh, the Zack Snyder cut of. Uh... Justice League, the four-hour-long movie. No, that's only on HBO Max, right? Yeah, I think so. And I don't have that. <laughs> well, at some point, we'll have to watch it. But <laughs> how do you feel about a four-hour-long movie? That's a ridiculously long movie, and I think that if the DC Universe were smart about it, they would have spent the time and money building up the the universe in multiple different movies rather than just throw one at the wall and then release two different cuts to try to fix it and explain everything. Well, but you know why they did that, right? It's because they kicked him off at the end. Hmm? Uh, they, they, they had some... So originally when the movie was coming out, Zack Snyder had all that shit filmed and had everything done. But, like, a couple of months before, like, the movie was about to release or some shit, he was, like, completely kicked off, and this dude had to fucking scramble to fucking make a whole nother movie from, like, what was shot and shit. And that's why the original thing was just such a shit show. The reason why this one's, like, four hours is because he wants to show, like, everything that he was supposed to throw in there and shit. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And you get his vision across and stuff. It's yeah. but... Uh, look, yeah, so I'm, what I'm saying about it is that it's not it's not that it shouldn't be a four hour long movie. I'm saying that the DC cinematic universe should have been built up in separate movies like Wonder Woman should have come out before Justice League and Aquaman should have come out before uh, that just so because then it DC's would have saved dumb. time on the movie. Uh, DC's dumb. <laughs> I like DC more than Marvel. Marvel, dude, I, I'm just sick and tired of superhero movies. And I'll be honest, yep. I don't want any more. Uh, yeah, I want. So I like, so I like a lot of TV shows and multiple things in chronological order. So like series of movies. So like I, I like the cinematic universe idea, but. I would like to see other movies as well. Yeah, indeed, right? That's what I'm saying. I think, like, also, can we get some new superheroes or some shit, dude? I'm sick and tired mm -hmm. of these old fucks. Man. Let's get some new motherfuckers mm -hmm. in here. Are you talking about in the, uh, like, in the Marvel Universe, in the just DC, whoever. or both? Yeah, just fucking whoever. Like, mm -hmm. I think, like, shit's so stale when it comes to, like, movies and just TV shows and shit in general. Mm-hmm. Everything's just so fucking... E either just something that's been done and fucking gonna be remade or some shit. Yeah, oh my gosh, the remakes need to stop. Like, we don't need a live action of everything. Come out with some new shit. Dude, right? Yeah, that's what I'm fucking saying. It's so fucking stupid, man. Like, dead ass. Why? But people aren't creative anymore. 
that's true. True shit. True shit. I mean, it's unfortunate. Us, we copy other people by doing a fucking podcast, so it's not like yep. we're fucking great at anything we do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and streaming copy, you know? It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do be yep. fucking litty. Well, yeah, I don't reclaim to be creative. Yeah, well, I know. Just fucking look at you. Yep. Just look at the podcast. Oh, at... <laughs> no, I was going to say more look at your case, bro. That's yeah, I don't case. like my case. <laughs> well, it's just because you have too much big shit in there. No, it, yeah, it's not enough. It's not big enough. <laughs> the case is fine for like a mid range case. Like a nice decent. Well, when I, when I, my, the first PC I built, it, it, that was enough size for it. I had a little, a little, yeah. ten, one blower style 1070 with a, with a stock AMD CPU. But I've mm -hmm. upgraded it over the years, <laughs> but kept the same case. Yeah. Hey, when are you gonna? Yeah. What's your uh, idea on a different case? Um, there's one that I saw that I have on my wish list. On, uh, I'll do. I'll like. I'll, what I'll do is I'll have something that I want, and I'll just add it to, to my wish list on Amazon just to keep track of it, and then I'll order yeah, it from I'll... some other site. Hey, I got a fun little thing for you. Yeah. If for this part of the podcast, while you're looking it up, you should uh, post the picture of the case just like over your somewhere on the fucking screen. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's 42 minutes in. Let me add it to the timestamp. Um, it's it's a Corsair case, an expensive one. Wow, expensive, huh? Yeah. So, uh, um, it's the. Corsair 500D Airflow, um, which is a $170 case. Is that the huge one? But it's, it's not extra wide, but it has room for three fans on the front, and I think two on the top. And then uh, one, one, one out the back. Mm -hmm. oh, hell yeah. There's a enough, Corsair case enough. that can fit three on the front and three on top and one on the back. Uh, There's a um, I think it's a, airflow, baby. I think it's a, I think it's a fractal design case. You can have three on the front, three on the top, and then three on the back, and I think one out the back. Nope. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> That's too many fans. <laughs> You imagine get one that air pants in that bitch. Like imagine just fucking the RGB like shit. Six hundred dollars or some shit. Oh my gosh, yeah. Fans alone. That's something like, else I'm... that I want to do. Is that like I want yeah. if I want to if I change my case, I also want to get hundred and forty millimeter fans for it. Yeah. Um. Did you get RGB I'm... one? Here. Um. I might, but I don't know my, the, the RGB, the case comes with RGB shit and I might just use what's in that. Okay, sure. Cause like this one came with it. I believe the Corsair one also comes with it. Oh, that's my order list. Hold on. Interesting. <laughs> so the thing that will suck is you won't have those nice LED strips in the H500 that you have now because you have the fucking yeah. eye right with the fucking hue with lights. Yep. well i mean i could take i could take the um oh this is oh my gosh it's much larger than i thought this is the one this is a this case and i have three in the front three on the top one out the back and then also three like in the back there yeah i know what case you're talking about Damn. Um, I could take the um, the cam 
out of that if I wanted to, and then I just have to get the RGB strips. Um, but it does not come with any RGB stuff. It comes with two 120 millimeter fans. That'd be a lot of RGB fans. Though, if you yeah. have Corsair case, you can get the Corsair ones, and I'm assuming mm -hmm. uh, the case might have the same software for it, so you could probably sync them up or some shit. And it probably uses... I would have to get a fan header still, though. Or a fan hub. You would... Well, obviously, yeah. There's no <laughs> way your mother running, fucking has... Fucking running 10 fans. Fan. <laughs> yeah, there's no way your fucking mother point has that many fan slots. Well, <laughs> something else that I want to figure out how to handle is if I can find a better way to handle the, the water cooling on the hybrid card that I have. Because it, oh, you it's a... Oh, you 100% could. It's just because you're limited with the fucking case that you have now. And the fucking CP. Because uh. I can get a bigger water block, right? For it? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it because it I it's an it's an AIO cooler? Yeah. I don't really know too much about know. water cooling. Just never really interested uh, the me. All in one, they're they're pretty nice. They're is like they're simple because you don't have to do anything with them. You mm -hmm. just make sure the water And plus also also, something else that's really nice about an AIO cooler that uh, was brought up on XQC's PC building on his stream is that um, he the in an AIO cooler, it doesn't matter if the pumps are up or down, or with the if yep. the yeah the pump, um, because. And the, the physics behind it in in think of a closed loop like a like an oval, right? So if you have if you have pushing if you have the pump pushing water up on one side, that water that's up there is pushing down on the other side. So it's not gonna affect it if you put the tubes up or down. Yep. Yep. Oh physics. they're fucking cool. They are pretty fucking sweet. The mm -hmm. nothing will be the custom loop. Pretty far. They just look so nice. True. They do. You gotta do rigid tubing, though. Yeah, the hard tubing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's rough because you gotta, like, fucking manually bend that shit, check the mm -hmm. fucking angle with mm -hmm. the ruler and shit. Yeah. It's fucking hard to do. Especially if you're doing something like... I, I feel like glass would be harder to do. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, like, heat it up and then bend it. That's what we did at Ironside, was, like, the glass tubing like that. We'd have to heat it up and fucking measure out, like, from the shit. It was fucked. Mm -hmm. So, if, if you did a full custom loop, what, if any, color would you do for the liquid? Hot green. I like the way that green. it looks. Yeah. Like the lime green, green, atomic green. green? Yeah. Is it? Like, pink looks pretty Oh, yeah, with the glass one. Depending on, yeah, pink looks pretty okay, depending on, like, if you can get the right mixture and stuff. Um, there's some pretty sick ones you can do, though. I'll be honest. I, I think I do, like, um... I, I think it's called viscous what like like a like it's swirly when it's moving oh you're you're talking about um, like i yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. We... just black and white that that'd be pretty cool yeah we had one like that that was like red it looked like lava shit it, mm -hmm, like fucking mm -hmm. orange. it looked cool as shit i had a uh a co-worker that had a custom loop in his pc build so, and those ones are a pain to clean because they can, uh, they're a little bit thicker and stuff, so you gotta make sure yep. you're running a bunch of fucking water and shit through. Yeah, so he didn't. He would, um, he would, I would see the whole thing done because he would bring his PC into work with him on like a Saturday when we expected it to be slow. And, uh, 
he would uh, he would empty the whole loop and then rerun all of his tubing because he ran soft tubing. And the thing that's bad about soft tubing in that particular fluid is that it would eat away at the plastic on the inside, which then would just like gunk up the, the pipe and it would look all uh, opaque and shit. Yeah, that's fucking nasty. Mm-hmm. And it would like dirty up his... Uh, his water block and shit so (laughs) and he wouldn't bring he wouldn't bring distilled water into work with him he would always just go to like tap water or some shit no no not tap water he'd go next door to the gas station and buy aquafina water and use that it's still just as bad it's just (laughs) mostly distilled fucking water that's what i that's that's what i said to him I'm like, if anything, buy isopropyl alcohol from next door. That's, yeah, right? <laughs> fuck, man. Like, that's oh, what I always... Oh, that's, fuck. Like, that's actually, actually, I don't know where it, where it is, but I I have a, a, bo- a big bottle of isopropyl alcohol with me. Or not with me, but, like, at home at all times. I just drink it. <laughs> yep, it's my... You got, it's legal alcohol... Just like, gotta dilute it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross. You can go and, uh, you know, at at eighteen, you can walk into any store and buy buy an alcohol. Just so make sure it says isopropyl on it. <laughs> yeah, that's the good stuff. Get real <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> no way do we support drinking isopropyl. By the way, no, do like not. That. Do yeah, not no. drink isopropyl alcohol because I mean, you will die. Heard of sarcasm. It's crazy, huh? We're all joking. We don't actually drink it. And neither <laughs> should you. Yes, definitely. Please do not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love when we both were like on going and then at the same moment without saying anything, we're like, okay, this is enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I can usually tell when a joke's gone too far. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I like when it comes to tubing and shit, the only way to do it is with fucking like the glass tubing and shit. Or if you wanna get real fancy and do like some steampunk shit, do a fucking like copper piping or some shit. Now that would be fucking crazy. Yeah, plus then if you do copper piping, you also get the benefit of the heat dissipation of copper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. Because the way yeah. that the way that water cooling works, for those of you who don't know, is that um the the heat goes from the let's say CPU, because it's the easiest. There's one one chip right in the middle there. You get a piece of copper that sits on top of it with some thermal paste, and it takes the heat from the processor through the copper, and then uh, in an air cooler, it goes up into uh, a big heat spreader, which then gets blown out by a fan. In a water cooler, it gets pushed through the, the, the hot water, the warm water gets pushed through through to the fan which then blows on it and slightly and you know slightly cools down the water before sending it back around to do do it again say before sending it back into the pump and shit and then if you mm-hmm. have like a two loop system it would reach the fucking uh either gp or you or a cpu first i don't remember which one it goes to but um it usually CPU, it's cpu it kind of first fucking, yeah it, it goes through the gpu uh before because it, it you, actually actually it depends on the type of work that you're doing on the pc if you're gaming it's going to be the cpu first because the the yeah. heat from the cpu is going into the where the gpu is and uh water can only absorb so much heat at any yep. given point so as it's going through the loop it's going to heat up um yeah that's where shit gets crazy because then you need two radiator systems and shit and then... mm-hmm yeah or you can do two separate ones so you have uh one that's cooling the cpu and one that's cooling the gpu yeah that's mostly what happens at least that's what Mm -hmm. we did at iron side a lot of the time 
Or you do some SLI shit <laughs> with water we, cooling. We, did, we we had to do some uh like dual loops and shit like that with a two graphics Hell yeah. card SLI. I feel like card. that looks so cool. Oh, it it, it was like especially pain in the ass to uh, if it looks like a pain in the ass to set up, but it looks so cool when it's done right. Dude. The fucking training it was the worst because you got to make sure it's out of both GPUs and out of both fucking radiators and then out of mm -hmm. the fucking pump and everything. It's like, fuck, this loop, this loop is so goddamn long, man. Fuck. That's one of the reasons why I think I, I don't know, I, I might get a clear blocks, like clear tubes, clear blocks, because then it's easier to see on the inside and make sure it's clean on the inside. Clear blocks actually look super nice. Uh, that's what we did at Ironside for like our uh, CPU and uh, GPUs and shit. Mm -hmm. And but did you guys do like the EK stuff? Yeah, the EK shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta avoid the warranty on your GPU to fucking. Get a <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, actually, there's there's one one GPU where um it comes with a a transparent water block, and it's actually a, a different variant of my same card. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so the the Seahawk you can either get in hybrid or you can get it in full water block attached to it. That would be pretty nice, actually. Yeah. That I this cool. is, I like I like MSI for GPUs. I prefer uh, the fucking uh, Asus. Asus, uh, yep. The Asus is also good. solid choice. Those are the the, the top two. Nasty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like the ROG Phone Five. <laughs> uh, 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 Dude, yeah. oh my god, that thing has more RAM than most people's computers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comes with 18 gigs of RAM. <laughs> Asus is just wild and out here, man. They're just yeah. They're so I completely forgot that Asus had the uh, the Zenfone series, which is like their business phones. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're all the way up to like seven or eight or something now. <laughs> Last time oh, I heard about it was number two. That's wild, actually. I'll be honest. Let's go. Let's go business phones. <laughs> oh, um something that I'm I am looking into and I'm interested for the uh I'm awaiting the drop of it is uh the OnePlus watch. I like my smartwatch for getting notifications and checking time. But the I have a Samsung watch right now and it's really fucking big and bulky. Now the uh the OnePlus watch is is also big the same size as a samsung watch but it's it's not as tall a little bit lighter okay nice thinking yeah. about it yeah what's the price on it it's like 150 it's not terrible 160 something like that pretty decent mm. i yeah. feel like man when it comes to like that shit, I, I don't really care. I think it's yeah, yeah. I'm just, I don't use my phone too much. I'm yeah. a gamer. No one messages me anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, this man. Uh, so this man, uh, bought a phone from me a while ago. And it's one of the phones that I took the uh, I took the back glass off of and made it clear. Uh, though when you do that, it also weakens the glass slightly because the sticker holding it together isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. Somehow Zach managed to crack the screen, but not the back glass. <laughs> I mean, I'm just built different. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, if I'm be honest. <laughs> The new that. screen on his phone, really fucking cheap. This act just too lazy yeah. to do it. Good. Well, <laughs> I'm lazy. It's yep. right now. At some point I'll do it. But not now. 
<laughs> Dude, I, t- I can't wait till Pound Town this summer. Hell Get yeah. Shots here, soon. I'm gonna be vaccinated for some fucking Pound Town adventures. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go and play at the park at Pound Town. <laughs> <laughs> Ride some fucking bikes through Pound Town. <laughs> Ride Pound Town. Go to the um the recreational uh bathroom area and <laughs> you know. Go, 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 go to the go to the five churches in town <laughs> <laughs> and two bars. <laughs> Or like three bars, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I can't. Man, I can't wait. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna hopefully. I remember in the past we talked about me getting like a cell phone number from Pound Town. Found out that I can't. Yeah. But I accidentally yeah. fucked something up at work this uh this weekend yesterday, and because of it, I now have two sims in my phone that are both active. <laughs> what'd you fuck up um well it wasn't really me that fucked up it's just that um i didn't feel like being an asshole about it so um this guy comes in with uh with a phone that he said is unlocked and i stuck our sim in our deactivated sim card in it and it showed service bars which normally means the phone is unlocked so then I went through and I activated a SIM card and, or no, I didn't activate it. He just wanted to buy the SIM card itself. And so I, I was like, okay. And I, you know, I gave it to him and he left. And like an hour later he came back and he's like, oh, it's not, it doesn't have a phone number on it. I'm like, well, yeah, you have to activate it. And he's like, well, they wanted to charge me more for that. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's, that's what I told you when you were in the store that I asked if you, I I asked if you wanted me to activate it, and you said no. <laughs> so then I went through and I activated it. Was it. Just free? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, so I go through and activate it, and I set up the settings in his phone, and it just wouldn't connect to the mobile network or make calls or anything. And then I stuck it in my phone, and it was fine. So then, um. He he just wanted to return the SIM card, and I was like, okay, and I gave him a, a refund. And then it, the the this particular phone company, when I called them back to to deactivate and cancel the transaction, they just said no. <laughs> well, okay. I didn't know you could just do that, but okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. That's fucked. So now I have uh Let's now I have two SIM cards in my phone. Both activated. Let's so I just have extra numbers. data this month. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Nobody's gonna refill it. <laughs> mm-hmm. True. <laughs> Actually it was it was uh it was kind of fucked because when I called customer service like the first guy just hung up on me like I was on hold and, he, and then he, he came back from being on hold and he's like, okay, I'm still helping you, sir. Click. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? God damn, what a savage. Didn't call me back. So then uh, I called back and I waited on hold. And as soon as I picked up, they were like, Hello, my name is Click. <laughs> I got disconnected again. So I called from my personal cell phone. I got through to someone and I explained the situation. And he was like, Oh, it worked in your phone? I'm like, Yeah. And he's like, Well, then he has to go out and buy a new phone. <laughs> and that's all That's all that he said. And then, and then there was nothing he could do. Okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> Fuck companies. Anyway, yep. Wrap this bitch up. Yeah. Hey, we did hit an hour. I was I was kind of kind of worried about it a little bit, you know. But check out the uh, down below 
for the uh the links to everything and uh have a nice night. Bitches.